Now we're going to add a new news item to your site. The news could either be displayed in the sidebar as part, or as part of your main site content. This is a default installation of the news module. We have the title, we have the category of the summary article, we have the date it was posted, we have the title of the article that links to a detailed view of the article, the category, who posted it, and a brief summary. In order to add a new news item, you go to Content, News. Once you're in the back end of your news module, you'll see a bunch of tabs along the top. You'll only need to worry about the articles and categories. All the other tabs deal with summary templates, detail templates, form templates, category templates, default templates, and options that are set up when the content is designed. Under articles, you'll see a list of all the articles that you've ever posted. You have the add article link. You can move articles within categories. You can turn an article off where you're not deleting it, you're just making it not visible to the public. You can delete it or edit it. If you have a lot of articles and a lot of different categories, you can filter the display list below by the category. You can order them by the date they were posted, their expiry date, their title or status. And you can have a page limit to how many that you can see on the page. Before you add news items, if you're going to have a lot of different categories, you want to go to the Categories tab and add those categories. So currently we're going to add a new category, and we'll call that category Events. If you wanted to make events a subcategory of your general category or any other category that you had already added, you would simply select it in the parent dropdown. So we're going to submit that. And now you have a successfully added category called Events. Now whenever you post an article, you'll have the option to add it to that category. So we're going to add an article. And first you add the title. Select the category. We're going to say that this is an event. And now you edit the content just as you would a regular page. Remember if you're copying and pasting from Word or another text editor, you want to use the paste from Word. So I'm going to paste my content either using the Control V command or right-clicking and selecting Paste. If all your content looks good, you'll insert it. And when you notice that the lines are a little scrunched together or when you have your content selected and the path doesn't say paragraph, you want to select it all and make sure that your format is in paragraph format so that you'll see this little P that'll let you know that you've got the correct format. So this is the summary window. If this was my whole story and I just wanted a summary to appear, that was the first line or the first couple of sentences, I could just cut out the rest of the story and paste that in the actual content of my body. We're going to select that format as paragraph. So now we have a summary and we have our content. And just so that you can tell the difference, I put excellent. This is where the summary ends. Okay. So down below, you have the option to turn your What You See is What You Get editor off. This is usually only applicable if you're pasting um, a YouTube video or a Google map into the box. You don't want to paste anything that involves code into the What You See is What You Get editor. So you can toggle it on and off to get a regular code view. Extra, if you have an image link that you need to put in into the, into the news article, you can put it in the extra. Also. Depending on your template, this is where you would have extra fields for the news article. Like for instance, if every article that you were putting out had a particular launch date that was different than the date that it was posted, and you needed to be able to manually enter that date, there would be a field down here in this area where you could put that in. They'll be labeled at the top to let you know what they go to. Now you can set the post date as the date that you're actually posting it, the time that you're posting it at the moment, or you can set it to a future post date, you can set it to a previous post date, say you, know, say you wanted to have it with a set date of April 28th. The default status for any article that you publish is going to be published. That will make it active. If you're still working on it, you can set the status to draft, and that way it will not show up. You'll be able to edit it, but it won't show in your news feed. If you, want it, if you have a time-sensitive news article and it expires after a certain time, you want to use an expiration date. If I had an event that was 
going to, to, to end on September 29th, I wouldn't want to have a stale news article talking about it in October. So I'll set it to expire September 29th, 2010. And you can pick the time. This is in military time, so if you wanted to do it at midnight, it would be 00. zero. So now that we have our news article all set up, we're going to submit it. There should now be a, su a success message letting you know that your article was successfully added. And in the list below, you'll see that your new article is now on the list. If you want to change the order in which an article appears, you simply change its post date. The article with the soonest post date will post at the top. So now let's look at our news module and see how it updated. Now you see our new article, the title, the category, the author, and this is our summary. This is where the summary ends. Since this article has a summary, it also has a more link, which also takes you to the same place as the title, where you have your summary at the top and then the body of your content. If you want to edit an article, it's very similar to adding one. You simply click the edit link. And now you have the option to make changes to your article. Similarly to the pages content updating, you can submit or apply or cancel. The page that your article displays on could depend on the category that you add it to, so make sure that you pay close attention when you're setting the category for your articles.